Well, good morning, good morning, good morning mi morning. gente. We are live, 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 live. Good morning, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving. Yay, time to be grateful. So good morning, everybody, and thank you for joining us today, Thanksgiving morning. We know you have a lot going on, but you can be cooking and just have us in the background, because this is going to be a fun show today. We're going to be talking to the barber and you know there's always some really juicy stuff like conversations that happen at the barber shop so this is going to be a really sort of just an easygoing uh go with the flow type of conversation um so good morning gladiator guru happy thanksgiving good morning buenos dias namaste mi gente badass buddha so good to wake up with you Yes, pretty lady. <laughs> Absolutely. We were we got started like two minutes late because I kept messing with my light and I'm still not happy with my light. So I'm gonna probably mess with that as like Gladiator Guru talks about stuff. So hello, good morning. Uh, Dr. Lori Monaco, Align Yourself Inc., uh, Life Coach, my, Mindfulness and Transformational um, Speaker, Chiropractic Physician, Weight Loss Doc. Um, I don't know, Southern Connecticut, like I'm trying to go through this really quickly. Southern Connecticut, it's really dreary today and good, we're bringing sunshine to Connecticut today. So good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, buenos dias. Aloha. Oh, she's mixing <laughs> it up today. She's a little crazy, wild and crazy today. Good morning, mi gente. This is La Margarita, your spiritual and creative healing life coach, your wordsmith. I am your wedding officiant. I am your artiste. I am La Margarita, all up into one, coming to you from sunny F Tampa, Florida today. Looking forward to the day I want to gift all of you today one word to use throughout your day no matter what happens if you couldn't make it with your family if you are with your family if the family chaos drama happens today which always happens on thanksgiving day just be grateful let's just show our gratitude in everything we do today from now to when we're with family so when we come home feeling sick and nauseated and stuffed like a turkey from everything we ate. And that should be, that's the word, that's the word of the day. I am grateful. Whatever comes your way, be grateful because that's a memory you're going to carry forever. Thanksgiving 2020. So let's make it a good memory going forward. And I, I think that's the important thing. I think people over the last, you know, I don't know, just over the last couple of years, people have been, be, have become more, um, obsessed with the idea of gratitude, which is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. It's the greatest thing you can do um, to be grateful every single day. And I think it's very cool. We have to think of Thanksgiving as this in this way that it is the one day that we set aside to literally celebrate gratitude. Don't worry about the pilgrims and all that stuff. Just think about it in terms of that this is a, a time that we celebrate being grateful. And yeah, we would like to think in a perfect world, we're grateful for our families. And that's why we get together with friends and families. And for many, they are, you know, gr very grateful, but it can cause drama. So just breathe, breathe. Remember what Gladiator Guru says, and she'll remind you at the end of the program. But it's, um, it's I, I love it. It's just like Valentine's Day. It's like people go, oh, I hate Valentine's Day. It was a Hallmark card uh, holiday. I'm like, who the hell cares? Good for them. They marketed really well. It's a, it's, think about what it means. It's a, it's a day that we set aside to celebrate love. Like what is better than that to just, oh, look, I got it right here. I'm, I'm so, right, to celebrate love. So this is a, a day to celebrate being thankful. And I do a gratitude practice every single day um, with, especially with my little one. We do, we hold our gratitude rock and we talk about what, what our most special thing was for the day like what were we most thankful for? And then we say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we say what we're grateful for overall. And so I want you to go forward, actually Gladiator Guru and I want you to go forward and don't make just today about being grateful. Just make it from this point going forward every single day. 
But, you know, it kind of helps you get through the day because even if there's chaos going on and you just whisper, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. Because, you know, you have to be grateful for you. Motherfucker, I'm grateful. Yes. But you there have are to those be... moments. There's those but and I said this, I, I don't mean to interrupt, but I cannot get it out of my head. I said this to her last night when I was on our when I were planning. And it's like you want to be grateful, grateful. Gratitude will change your energy. But there are those moments where it's again 50% namaste and 50% go fuck yourself. And it's okay to be grateful for that. It's okay to be grateful for that. Go ahead, Gladiator Guru. I didn't mean to interrupt. You just no, I'm inspire just, me sometimes mm-hmm. to say what I need to say. But it's like, it, it's it's about being grateful for you, for, for you and all your senses. You know, no matter what's going on, because you're going to run into chaos, you're going to run into crazy, you're going to run into something that you're not comfortable with. But be grateful because you can see it. Be grateful because you can hear it. Be grateful for the aromas and the funk you get to smell. Be grateful that you can stand up and walk away from it all if that's what you choose to do. That's the gratitude I'm talking about. It's about being grateful every morning that God has given you a clean slate, a new day, and the tools to navigate through that day, which is walking, which is picking up opening doors and picking up your keys, which is smelling and seeing and hearing. Those are the, the priceless things that you have to be grateful for every day. And I'm grateful for you, Gladiator Girl. Thank you. I'm, I'm grateful for that commentary. It's always so colorful and descriptive and, you know, you just bring it on. And, I, and I'm so grateful for, I'm grateful to you for so many things, but especially an amazing friendship. That's, that's what I'm most grateful for. Um, and, but, and I do tell you that. I, I might not tell you it enough though. Maybe I need to tell you every day. No, like, no, no, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> let's say, let's say gratitude to who's on today. So Francia said happy Thanksgiving. And we are grateful to Francia for being a fan and always coming on. Um, Janine, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy loading day. Janine is on the Cairo Thin program with both Margie and I. And Margie and I are drinking something special. We'll talk about that in a second. So yes, happy loading day. Um, Michelle, good morning, beauty. So thankful for you both. She said, happy birthday, Margarita. Good. We're going to talk about Margie's birthday in a little bit too. Um, so Michelle, another one, she's always on. Thank you so much. We're very grateful for that. Yes. And Michelle's always sharing. So we're very, very grateful that Marina, good morning. Happy Thanksgiving. We're grateful that you're here. Tiffany in the house, Tiffany Bryan. Um, very grateful. And Tiffany's always sending us messages, how grateful she is that for the show, just to hear us. So we just thank you so much for that, Tiffany. We really appreciate it. Aritza's on. Good morning, Aritza. She says, happy Thanksgiving. Hello, everyone. We're grateful to have you. Aritza's another one, man. She is always like on and going at it. Tiffany, happy Thanksgiving. Good morning, beautiful ladies. You two are a true, uh, a, are truly a blessing to me. I'm so grateful for you both. Okay. And Aww. we didn't pay Tiffany to say that. That's the best part. <laughs> just came on. <laughs> How about on your end? Did I miss anybody? Glad I'm, I, it's, I'm still having a hard time getting on a watch party. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Well, um, so then let's, uh, what do you want to do first? Do you want to talk about, let's, do you want to set the intention and mantra first, or do you want to talk about really quickly about the holiday thing or what, what let you're in charge, let's, man. It's, no, it's let's set the mantra. Tomorrow. Okay. Let's, let's set the mantra. All right. So the intention for today, very simple. I intend to make someone smile every day, starting today. I intend to make someone smile every day. That is a great thing. People forget that. <clears throat> you know, it's hard when you tell people you got to breathe. People forget to breathe, like in their most worst moments. Or Yes. <clears throat> and I think 80% of those people forget to smile. So that's, that's a good one. I like that one. Mine is a quote from Rumi. He's one of my favorites it's next to Khalil Gibran. But he's, the, the thing is, it, it's a self-love quote. It says, I want to sing like the birds sing, not worrying who hears or what they think. Rumi, mm-hmm. I want to sing like the birds sing, 
not worrying who hears or what they think. And I think if we live our lives like that, we are granted peace. It's not, I, I love to sing. I, I'll sing like if I have a sold out concert on, in Madison Square Garden. But I'm, but I am tone deaf as fuck. And I'm okay because I like singing. I don't care who don't like it. But I'll sing and I get all in my emotions and I'm like that, that artist at that moment. And that's how we need to live without hurting, offending purposely with any malice towards anybody. But I think to live how we choose to live, it's good. People wonder why I like to wear my little diamonds on my, I'll wear them to go to the grocery store. But I like to keep wonder. Why do people wonder? Because I'm not like, you know, from that coach. And I I said, I like. Really? I like to keep, yeah, I like to keep my third eye open and refresh. That's not, normally, you know, I don't wear colors. I'm only wearing colors today. Oh, my God. I'm going to get that one day. I'm just going to get an actual eye, you know, like a stick-on eye, and I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to go out in public, and if anybody looks, and I'm just going, you know, I'm just trying to see with my third eye today. That's all. <laughs> um Yes, I agree. You know, I, I think just doing what you love and not having any restrictions, that's what that mantra means. It's, uh, yeah, so what? Who gives a shit if you don't sing well or whatever? It's if it brings you joy, you know? Oh, for me, for me, but there's a lot of people that are still like, you know, so all, all I'm saying is <clears throat> just, um, oh, he, he, <laughs> <clears throat> um, so anyway. Before we bring our guest on, who he just told me that he's in the waiting room getting yes. dressed. <laughs> I see him. I don't see him getting dressed. Although um, he looks pretty cute, so I wouldn't mind. But <laughs> <he's> um, <laughs> remember, I put out a video yesterday um, for, for any small business um, entrepreneur that makes things like my girl, she's going to come on, Jolly Vet, that makes these tumblers this is she took pages of my book little quotes from my book and put it here um Lillian exceptional me Juby I forgot to mention the other day that this is custom made so if you want a custom made no you said it oh yeah okay Mm -hmm. so starting Tuesday December 1st we will have and it's Tuesday and Thursday until you know we decide um small businesses come on five to ten minutes where you will you know demonstrate your weirds let us know what it's about, how to contact you so that people can shop small businesses this holiday of 2020 with Viva Cafe Con Leche. So let's make it happen. Like I said in my video, my niece said I was too old to say that. So I think now I'm going to say it live. Let's make this holiday hot. Share your holidays with Viva, and Viva will share the holidays with you. They said you're too old to sing? Yeah, yeah. You're never too old to do squats. That's what I said. Age is just... I'll tell you what, I feel younger now at 50, and actually, let me call call out what it is, right? You're turning 52 tomorrow. I'm going to be 51 in January, so I'm not... You know, I'm upcoming, and I feel younger now than I did in my 30s. I was like a... I was like a displaced fat and I am going to say the word I and just miserable 30 something year old old fart that's that's what I look like and that's how that's that's how I was living my life not now I've never lived my life hearing what the hell somebody had to say but anyway let's bring our guest on mi gente get in touch with us through text through a phone call through Instagram, through Facebook Messenger, through email. Let us know you want to be on the show so that we can have everybody lined up. Okay? Yep. All right. So, Jonathan, can you hear us? We do not see nor hear him. You giving him a text? He probably stepped away. No, <laughs> he's probably he's probably putting his pants on. Remember, he said he was getting dressed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so what are you having in your co- I'm, I am having the badass Buddha is having a little Irish cream in her coffee this morning and there he is are right, you got uh, your pants on you dressed you got your pants on he's still hooking up to there you go good morning. good morning good morning Jonathan morning John what's okay. going on 
Here's here's my here's my um, Bailey's, and I'm gonna put it in my cup. I'm already done with my. Coffee. I'm already done with my coffee. I have my frother with me. Oh my goodness. And I said, good morning with your water. Is that just a mixing one or is it a little battery operated thing? It's battery operated. Yes, it's your battery problem. operated is always good for any, for any instrument, really. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Jonathan. I'm glad to meet you. And morning, this nice. is great. We're excited about Hello. this conversation. Tell everybody really quickly um, where, you know, where you're, shop is and how long you've been doing this because you've been doing this quite a while right oh yeah so i've been let's see started cutting hair on my own since i was like 12 um and i just pursued it you know i was in the garage in mom's kitchen the bathroom <laughs> graduated to my bedroom <laughs> um, and then from there you know just i went to college i went to sacred heart but it just wasn't for me you know, I was pretty smart, but I was just like, no, and I love cutting hair. And while I was in college is when I realized, like, this is it. You know, I would cut a lot of hair in between classes. I had a sign up list on my dorm door in between my classes with little time slots. And, you know, that's when cell phones, you know, were a big deal back then. And um, back then, look at me. I'm not even 40 yet. Back, then. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> and, um. So that's when I started, like, I guess I'm really good and people really wanted to see me. So I finished school and I went right to hair school and that's it. I found a couple shops, then I found Iris on the green and that's really what took it off for me over there. You know, I grew up in Stratford, so it's, it's nice to know everybody, you see everybody. So it makes business easier to get into, but a lot mm -hmm. of it's, you know, personality. You got to have the personality to deal with all these people because it's just a lot of... It's not just a barber. We were talking about this yesterday in the shop. I feel like it's not just barbering anymore. It's like a uh, psychologist. Oh, yeah. Mentor that just yes. knows how to come here. That's, that's what it ends up being. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's, that's why we wanted you on because, um, but, and the thing is that this isn't even new for being a barber shop because barber shops are known for that. They were the, they've been known for years, especially in the neighborhood. You know, like they were the place that, People would go and they would come and get their haircut, but there'd be people just hanging out and just talking. Yeah. And every that would be the news of the neighborhood. If you you know you didn't watch the TV to hear about what was going on, you got you went to the barber shop and talked to the people, the barber and and the barber knew everything. Oh like, yeah, that was it. It's yeah. like you were like yeah. the guru of the neighborhood. That's what it is. Yeah, it's 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 not that I'm smart. I mean, I know a lot of things, but you learn a lot of things through everybody else. That's you absolutely learn, right. And you learn to be open it's not you know there's a lot of guys i mean women too that you know they're opinionated and they stay on their line and they they know what they know and that's it this kind of humbles you down a lot because you meet i i cut people that you know they live in the hood and don't have enough room for their kids in the house and they're struggling and they still come see you you know and they're they're paying and doing the same thing as someone that i would cut that lives from Greenwich or even New York, you know, like I have guys that come all the way up from down there and, and, you know, it's, it's crazy to see it, but at the same time, when you can have that same mentality with both of them and be on the same personal relationship with both of them, no matter where they're from or how they're living their life or whatever they're doing, you know, it's, it's big to see that. And, and it humbles me down a lot and to make me realize like, you know what, I'm really grateful for what I really have you know, um, you know, and, and especially working with the women. I worked in Iris's shop for what six, seven years. And to be with all the girls at first, it's crazy. You know, you get guys come in and 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 like you said, it's, it's a place for us to come in and have our time. But you know, now it's like, well, we gotta kind of whisper or you can't say that because the girls are there, you know. But <laughs> but but you learn a lot, you know, and, and just like with you guys every day on here and I catch you when I catch you when I come, you know, when I make my comments and I notice that because I am a guy joining in and sometimes I agree, you know, and sometimes I disagree because I can give you the male aspect of it. And that's you know? perfect. Yeah. And I noticed that, you know, especially with Iris, I remember a day there was a lady talking about her husband and 
you know, she's like, yeah, my birthday's coming up, but I don't know because, you know, I think he's cheating on me. And, and I remember, I can picture the lady's face. I'll never forget. And they're going back and forth. And Iris is just like, you know, trying to ease her down. But then I'm just like, I just cut in and I'm just like, how do you know he's cheating? Has he ever done anything? And she's like, well, I would never think. I was like, so then why are you thinking it now? Didn't you say your birthday's coming up? Maybe he's trying to like surprise you. Maybe he's not good at sneaking around to... And she's like, oh, I didn't think about it like that. And I'm like, well, why would you just start thinking now out of nowhere? Like, don't punish him yet. He didn't even get caught yet. You know, like, don't do that to the guy. <laughs> and sure enough, we found out a few weeks later he was trying to, you know, he was with one of her friends trying to figure some things out because he had, no you know, and I'm just like, but you, but you drained it. You know what I mean? Like, I hope he didn't know that you were thinking this so he didn't kill the mood because that would suck. She was cheating herself. She was cheating yeah. herself out of enjoying her exactly. For now. Exactly. Oh All right, time God. out. Real quick, time out. How do I share this? Because I have people hitting me up asking me how to see this video. So do go on Facebook? to yeah, go your Facebook, go on to Viva. And then there should be a button that says to share it and then or create a watch party. Viva. There Hola, we go. Marina. And yes, well, so while he's doing that, so uh, Lisa goes potty mouth. Uh, Carmen says, good morning and happy turkey and thankful day. Editha says, if you can't talk about it in the barbershop, you can't talk about it. Yes. She said, hi, my baby boy, Jonathan Pookie Cruz. Um, good. And then Carmen, Carmen, so sweet. She says, love that color on you. You look great. Actually, you are both beautiful darlings. Thanks, Carmen. I was wondering, because I'm not a big fan of orange, but I just got tired of wearing the same stuff all the time. Um, Jeez, Stephanie Acosta, Andrea Santiago, good morning. Good morning, buenos dias. Okay. I um, never tire of black. Oh, there it goes. You got it? Yep. Did you, were you able to share yours, um, Guru? You finally got yours to share too? Yes, finally. All right. All right, I just posted it up there. Very cool. So, so Jonathan, Jonathan, what has been the most moving story you've heard as you're cutting someone's hair? Um, there's a lot. I know uh, there's one guy. He, um, you know, like I said, um, he's one of the ones, you know, they grow up with not much. Um, he had kids at a young age. Um, him and his wife got married. I'm actually pretty cool with them. Um, and it's, it's hard to see them struggle. Like I've been to their house, you know, they try to have birthday parties, you know, there's Christmases that went by that, you know, they, they stay humble about it, but I know they didn't have it. Um, so, um, a few of us, and I know other people too, chipped in and, you know, we sent gifts over, you know, to their house for the kids. Um, you know, we've planned vacations and helped them to come. You know, we gave them the discount to come. You know, it, it's you, you do your little part that you can. I'm not rich. You know what I mean? I'm pretty good, but I do what I can too. You know, like if you have some extra few bucks or whatever, you know, I think you guys spoke about this one day. If you see that guy in the street, you know, some people see him as, oh, I'm going to get in my Cadillac and leave, or some of them see him as you really can tell. You take it as you want. But then, like you said, with the act of kindness, you do it and you just do it and then don't expect anything out of it. Just make the day. Um, but, yeah, I remember one day he, you know, he wanted to propose to his girl or his wife now. And, um, you know, he really didn't have much. And, and you know, he's showing us pictures from, like, Walmart, you know, like, oh, look at this ring I want to get. And I'm like, you know, and, and a typical guy is like, what kind of shit is that? You know, like, you know, you got to, you know. People judge on that stuff, but she is a, the, the biggest sweetheart you'll ever meet. She's so nice all the time, no matter what they're going through. She's always smiling. She's always positive about something. And eventually, you know, things just started working out after. And, you know, he found a good job because he was getting jobs and he's a good worker. But, you know, when you're trying to find something quick, you take what you get. And then sometimes That's those right. things will fail. So, he was just doing that. She was doing it. Now they're both working. Now the kids are grown. I remember when they were little babies, you know, now they're taller than me. And 
and it's great to see them grow and not give up and stay together. And, and, and like I said, stuff like that, you see, and it's just like, when I go home now, it's like, I don't want to fight with my lady. You know what I mean? Like, I want to come home. I want to give her a hug, you know, and I, and I have my little days too, where I'm not myself, you know, it's a long day of work, you know, it's holiday season. I worked 12, 13 hours yesterday. You know, I had a couple little breaks, but the breaks are to go in the house, check the kids and, make sure they're doing their schoolwork, you know, because now they're at home on the computer. So it's, it's a stress. Is there any you. way that we could duplicate you and then like <laughs> maybe make you about 45, you know, like, you know, like just duplicate because that, I think, I think that you'd have a lot of very interested women if you just duplicated you and like me. No. Well, you, you, you know, you know, the thing is that even your friend and and it's good that you said anybody else would have criticized that. Let me tell you, I was working a good job. It was and my husband was working a good job and he wanted to take me to K's or whatever, somewhere to get my wedding band. And all I wanted was a simple gold band. I really wanted silver, but he didn't like silver. So we had a little argument at the counter. Yeah. And and he picked the gold ring, but with the with the little cut diamonds in it. And I don't like bling bling like that. So I just got a gold small band. And we were so happy when I wanted to buy my ring at fucking Kmart. And my <laughs> ring did not bend, did not dent. It just yeah. had normal wear and tear. And I think people get so hung up on that. That's why there's a lot of discord in relationships because they think they should get it name brand or from expensive stores. So you just being there, you probably help alleviate a lot of his. Oh yeah, because it is, there's no judging, especially when it's some people you love and trust. There's just no judging right. with anything. Who cares, man? The fact that he even tried with knowing that he didn't really even have much, you know, and the fact that he even sent us a group text to be like, hey, what do you guys think? Oh, that's so cute. You know, he, he, he trusts us and you know. Cause he's he, humble. Exactly, and that's well, but you, but you also created that, Jonathan. I mean, you yeah. that's and that's the thing about you. You know, your personality is perfect for what you do. You yeah. know, it's you. You create that. You create uh, an open space. Usually, like when we're talking as coaches, like one of the things that we talk about is just uh, creating space for other people to be who they are. And with and and the key thing is without judgment. Like you go in there, people know that this is a safe place. Like they can yeah. say whatever they want. There's no judgment. It's mostly fun, light, you know, it, it's lighthearted. But at the same time, it's almost like what happens in the barbershop stays in the barbershop. It's like, you know, but it's like the good kind of Vegas. You know what I mean? It's like it stays there. Yeah. And it's supportive. And that's really important for men because yes. women, we get that. We get that yeah. from friends, but men don't really get a lot of that. We and We don't really have that. Like you have your guy friend, like I have my besties that, you know, I, I vent to or whatever, but it's, you know, but it, it doesn't matter because we're all guys. And sometimes we need that outside support because guys are going to say guy things. I'm going to back my guy up regardless. I'll be the first one to tell you to shut the fuck up. You're wrong. I, I have no, I don't care. I'll be the asshole. That's, that's who I am in the group of my guys. <laughs> but, but not everybody could be that way. So is Guru. I, I, I look for that sometimes, you know what I mean? And and that part's tough. But when you have all these people coming in here and 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 pay attention, like I'm not downing any barbershop salons or any businesses that deal with personal one on one. But you see like a lot of businesses flourish that have this kind of um relationship with their clients or customers. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. Those are the ones that do better. Like I said, I'm more of a, a psychologist mentor that just knows how to cut instead of a barber that gets along with everybody, you know, because people come in here and I can see on someone's face, they come in and it's like this and this happened and that and that. And I'm like, I knew it, you know, like as soon as they, because you see them enough and it might, it could be once a month, but I see guys every week. I see guys every two weeks, but you just know, and you just, in years, it doesn't matter. You just know. You see Margarita walk in the room. You already know what kind of day she's having. It doesn't matter. You know, like you just read something on her, whether she wants you to know it or not. But and that's, that's something... because you're open to it, though. But right? Jonathan, yes. you used to read me. <laughs> <laughs> I read everybody. <laughs> you coming up from Florida? I'm like, oh, sure. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
but that's because you you're you're open to that like you're you know you're not you're not in the market for like the gossip you're you're there to just be who you are and be present and be at that moment and um and i gotta say you know i just watched it as an observer you know um for the, for a while, we didn't see barbershops. Like they were just, they sort of disappeared for a while. And if they were there, they weren't noticeable. And then all of a sudden there was like, I guess it was like what, 10, 15 years ago, there was this resurgence. And I noticed it because I had a practice in Bridgeport. And then all of a sudden they started to talk about, oh, so there's barbershops coming in, there's barbershops coming in. And it came back into like the, the um, inner city area where a lot of the barbershops were coming back in. And I don't think people realize like seriously, what barbershops really truly offer. Like yeah. really seriously, like I think what they, they look at is they just, oh, it's a place to get your hair cut. You know, but it is, barbershops are far different and it's not just because of the gender sp more specific. It's not like you don't cut women's hair, you don't have the option, but it's far different than a, a barbershop compared to a hair salon. Like a hair, a woman's, uh, a woman's hair salon. And I say that loosely because men do go to the hair salons. It's different. It is a, it's a completely different entity. And if you're the person that wants to go for more than just getting your hair, you know, fixed or whatever, or get the shave, it's the barbershop that you want to go to. And I'm so glad that it came back and it came back in its original state, only like upgraded. Yeah. The, the original appeal to it, the original, like that, that camaraderie, that beauty that is, was, is within it, that energy came back full force like it like it just it went away for a little while and all of a sudden it was here it is and we're we're the same but we're even better yeah that, well, that's that's the thing it's not a job it's a lifestyle and it's something that you can't I can tell people say you could be the best barber in the world you know what I mean like there's so many guys that I would admit that's better than me but you know what to be successful though it's not just cutting hair you have to have everything um, I know guys that are not that great but you know what they're people person and people love them and guess what they're busy and why? Because people trust them. And that's just what it is. It's all about trust. And I don't care what relationship you're in. It's always about trust. You have to have that. So, you know, that it's a big deal. And at the end of the day, you know what? They pay my bills. So in the money business aspect, you know, you got to take care of them. But in a relationship, you know, I, I live here. It's not like you just see me in the barbershop. You know, I'm going to see them in the grocery store. I'm going to see them at the here. I might run into small world. I might run them into, you know, run into someone at your house. And they're like, how do you know them? You know, it happens all the time. You're like a little celebrity, but you know, do you want to be known as that asshole or do you want to be known as when you walk in a room and everyone's like, Hey, I know him and you have good vibes all the time. And, and people forget stuff like that. It's not, it's not just a job anymore. It is not, but it, it dates back. Cause I was trying to read up on it. You know, barbering dates back to like ancient um, Egypt circa, but it's like, you know, the pole yeah. um, represents um, <clears throat> it, it's called like, Hold on, I had it. I had it. It's like blood, bloodletting. Yep. Yeah. Um. So that's the barbers were the first surgeons. They were the ones yeah. that learned the sharp tools and everything, and they would draw blood. So that symbol in itself is, and I I knew it from before, and I forgot it. But you yeah, don't so offer that service, Jonathan. Right? You're not offering that service these days, are you? <laughs> well, if you want to, I could do it. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is. <laughs> You were born to be in the field. You are. It wasn't a choice you made. Oh, I don't want to do this. I'm just going to cut here. That eso te nace. That's something you're born with. To do yeah. it well. And to be alerted in your five senses. When someone's walking in, you make the decision. Is that vibing energy something I want to put in, in my space? Yeah. You get to decide. You look at a person. And if you feel that, I'm sure you say, oh, I'm sorry. I'm booked for the day. And that's not being rude. That's being protective. Yeah, of yeah. Yourself in your space. Yeah. It happens, and that's. It's not just you're just that busy. Sometimes you are. I mean, I'm real busy, but but there's days that you do that, and I, you know, and it's not to throw anyone under the bus, but you know, you have days you walk into the shop, and if you give off a bad vibe, and then people look at you like, I don't even want to go there today. You know what I mean? Because like I'm already not having a good day. You're not going to make my day any worse. It, and, and it's real. It's real. And that's no matter what. You can walk into a store and the lines are crazy. And you're just like, fuck this. I'm not staying in here. Like, I'm going to go to the other Walmart. You know, like, it, it is what it is. And it, that's just realness, you know. And, and, and 
it, it's hard. It's hard, but it's a learned thing. I've been doing this for a long time. And it's great. It's great. But like you say, I pick and choose. But nowadays, it's more I just roll with it because I've been dealing with it for so long. Um, I understand where things come from. I've seen the ups. I've seen the biggest downs. I've lived them myself. So I just take it. And, and for me, you know, and, and the child of God, you try to just, you know, you bring that happiness. You, you, I want to I want to make someone have a better day, you know, and I, and I love doing that part of my job. People coming in and then they're leaving and they're like, you know what? I'll get that text later. Thanks, man. I really needed that today. Like it happens, you know, and I don't need to go on Facebook and tell everybody, you know, screenshot. No. You keep that's that what that Exactly. Yeah, you keep it and, and that's it. And you know what? And I hope he went and did that to somebody else. And well, the same I, for the women. And the same for the women. Because I get single moms that come in here, you know, and they bring their boys and you know, they need advice because they don't know what they're doing. These kids are growing. I don't, I don't, and I'm like, listen, chill out. You know what I mean? Like, here's a couple ideas. Here's what my, I did with my kid, you know, like, okay, okay. You know, like I have this one girl who brings her son and um, he's a little special needs, but he's cool, but he don't know how to shave. He doesn't have anyone to teach him how to shave. He doesn't have much, but he gets whatever. So I showed her what to go get. This is what you get. Don't get what I have. Go get this. It's cheaper. And then this, you know, and I'm in here showing him how to use it. Bring it in next time. I'll show him how to do it. It's two minutes. You know, it's not a big deal. But at the end of the day, I know she's happy. I know she's grateful for it. But at the same time, I watched the kid grow. I remember when he was little and she was picking him up, bringing him everywhere. Now he's bigger than both of us. And, you know, it's, 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 it's a cool thing. You know, it's nice to be a part of that. It is, it is. You know, my I was telling um the badass Buddha yesterday that my nephew, Gio, he don't care yeah. where they're at. Jeez. He's going to he's going to Bookies and that's it. Jeez my sister's beast, like man. it's rainy. <laughs> Sheesh. And it could be raining, snowing. My sister could have to be at work at a certain time. He won't budge and go any, he'd rather stay with his hair looking a hot mess until he can go to job. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yo, where's your, where's Jonathan? Your, where's your, where is your, um, all right. So where? as of right now, because of COVID, I'm actually working from home. So what you see here is my garage, but I transformed the garage. Oh, nice. Right. I have everything in here. Um, but yeah, um, when all this COVID started, I was working at a shop in Stratford on Nichols Ave. I was there for a little while, um, but when all this happened, you know, the kids are home, so she's working at the at the doctor's office, so she's stuck, she's essential, and I'm like, all right, well, I could take my clippers home, like, it is what it is, we have to figure this out, so that's what I did, so I became daddy daycare slash teacher, lunch lady, <laughs> <laughs> in between cutting hair, and, and, you know, it is what it is, you just got to do what you got to do. So um, we ended up, because of that, though, it's like a blessing in disguise. So we ended up selling the condo. Um, I got rid of my two family. We got a house over here in Stratford because so, I knew, like, hey, I got to cut from home. We got to make this work. The condo was too small to have. I don't want people in my house. So the garage is perfect. Um, but it's nice. You know, I have heat. I got AC. You know, like, we, I, I had to suck it up and do what I had to do. But I'm doing it for home. I'm doing it for the fam. You didn't um, suck it up. You shifted. Well, you yeah. shifted. And, and because of who you are, your personality and what you've learned over the years and the fact that you're open to what you learned, because that's that says a lot about you, because you could be working in what you're doing and hearing all this information coming in and just not doing anything with it. You're you're sucking it all in and and then working it, using it to work for you and adapt to you. So you shifted, which you were like a really prime example of the success during this whole time because people really did not know what to do. And you mm -hmm. just said shift and flow. Like, okay, well, you know what? I, I'm in a business where they shut me down anyway and I got to figure this out. But when we're ready to go back on, we don't even know who's going to open, who's not. So I'm just going to make it work. And to top it off, you not only shifted and made it work, but you actually got even better because you, you're in a different place. Like, you, if somebody said to you back in January, oh, you're going to get rid of this th and this, and then you're going to move into a house, you would have been like, why? Like, yeah. I'm good. 
condo. I'm good with the, the two family. And then, but that's because you just, op- you open yourself up to it, you know, yeah. and you give that to your clients. That's the other piece. That's why it's really important that everybody, you know, for those of you, it's not that we're picking favorites. It's just that if you're looking for a barber, then reach out to Jonathan because you're getting so much more than just getting the haircut and a shave. It's like you're, you're getting an insight, you know, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. We need more people like this, like you, mm-hmm. so that you just spread that joy. You spread um, no judgment, um, acceptance, yeah. uh, gratitude, compassion, mm-hmm. all these things. That's well, you. See- but we are picking favorites because right now you're the favorite <laughs> barber that we know. So I'm and, sorry, you're the only barber I know. So that's I, I'll, I'll admit that. But, but the, yes, but you're the, my favorite. Did you hear what he said? He said, "So I came here. It has AC. It has heat. We're doing good. So now I'm a barber. I'm a teacher. I'm a disciplinary. I'm the lunch lady. I loved it." Yeah. And you said it, you said it so naturally. And yeah. that's the, that's the yeah. beauty of trusting God, following yeah. his lead. And even though it's unfamiliar territory, you're still saying, let's do this. Let's do it. You know why? Because yeah. somewhere in life, someone has a way worse. And you know what? I of know course. I'm that person, so that's how I see it. You know, you got to just take it. Just take it and go with it. Roll with it. Life doesn't stop. You shouldn't stop. That's right. It doesn't. And you know what? Yes, there's people worse off. But I say, you know what? It's the shift. It's the shift and flow, right? You got to flow and then you got to be able to just shift lanes when, you know, it's not working out for you. But I think the biggest thing that will get us through anything is faith. Yeah. And knowing that there's someone out there bigger than us that is guiding our steps. We just got to pay attention. And most of the time, we're so fucking stuck in ourselves that we don't realize yeah. where, which path is ours. And I, I want to say something about faith, too, because I run up against this with people who are not particularly religious. And there's no judgment. You know, if that's your choice and that's that you honor yourself, if that's the way you want to live. So people sometimes get hung up on the word faith because they think it in the terms of religious, you know, like, and, and I always say to people, faith is just faith. Faith just yeah. means a belief. And so if you, if that is not your, you know, your choice, and if religion is not your thing, that doesn't mean you, you, you can just rule that, just throw faith out. Just faith yeah. means just, just be believing. Believe, believing, believing is something anything. bigger. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I, I, I have faith that my tires aren't flat when I go home. For real, I, like, it's, it's just I, simple like that. <laughs> my bread didn't go bad when I want to make that sandwich because I'm starving, you know, like it's just yes, it's the same thing. I tell these, I tell these to people all the time. Yeah. You people know? get get hung up on religion. Religion is man made. See, I have my relationship directly with God and Jesus comes in and we'd be like, I know, I know I messed up today, but you know what? Let's try again. Yeah. And that's my spiritual connection with God and faith and hope because we all need that to get through. Listen, I could totally see Jesus going in one, coming into you in one day and going, damn, I'm, Margie. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Because I listen. think that Jesus definitely talks to you like that. He does. Really? I'd be like, I'd be like, listen, I can't talk to you today because you know I just did something I shouldn't. So I'll, I'll connect tomorrow. That's how I talk to my God. <laughs> Why? Because I am a child of God. And I am human. So I am a heathen. And I talk to him. And I, I and I just thank him every day for helping me get through, especially going on 10 years of now caregiving for someone else. And and my my spirit is again caged to make sure somebody else is healthy and well taken care of. So I, I talk to him all the time to help me navigate those emotions because sometimes I just want to pack a bag and get the fuck on. Yeah. Because, you know, I started caregiving at 42. I'm going to be 52 tomorrow. Like, okay, God, when, you know, I know you know me. When is it my time? So sometimes yeah. to navigate through that, I just say, okay, every morning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lead the way today. I surrender. I will follow. Because, you know, I be getting shit wrong all the time. And then I say my gratitude three times and I'm up. I'm up and popping. Yeah. <laughs> My cousin D-Bone says, Pookie, God bless, bro. You know D-Bone? 
Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Good good morning, Tiffany. Darius, Darius Richardson, yep. but they call him they call him D Bone and his brother's Alf. Yeah, we've got so, a yeah. lot of people on, a lot of people on and says I always told you I was the <laughs> The, the, the comments are absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. We have so many, so many people on. Um, I just want to say, Car so Carmen said, John, that is a really great point. Referrals are where the bulk of my business came and still does uh, power of relationships. And then she put in big capitals, word, we all know Margie's moods. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, so this has been fabulous. We've had a lot of people on today, and um, and it's been great. And, you know, Jonathan, I have to say that I really do appreciate you coming on to the show because it does seem, you know, we don't want it to be female-dominated. Um, I mean, it just happens to be that way. It's just the way it is. But um, we love your perspective, and we just, and I, I mean, um, Guru has been talking about you like crazy, and she's always mentioning you, and you are exactly how she described, like exactly, like you just, it is so refreshing. Um, and it's not throwing anybody specifically under the bus. It's just that we tend to hear how you, how you are. We tend to hear it more from women. And I think it partially has to do with that. Men maybe aren't as vocal. They're not as, they don't, they, because for you to share what you shared and, and say the things that you said, it requires a little bit of vulnerability on your part which that is not a weakness for you. And that's big. And, and I'm encouraging, or we're encouraging men out there who listen to this, that do, you can be vulnerable and it's not a sign of weakness. It's, this is, this, it's the truth. It's, mm -hmm. it's authenticity. And, yeah. you know, and if it means coming to your barbershop to get that out for that moment in time for these men, that's fine. That's, yeah. that's fine. But yeah, yeah, yeah. you awesome you're a wonderful wonderful guy and i wish you i just hope we get you like just give business to you um you. just because you know you're you're really it's you're bringing so much more to the table than just a great haircut yeah you are and she said vulnerability which other men need to see that because they feel you know especially the, the latino men we were raised they were raised on machita you can't cry if somebody says i leave them and all that kind of stuff so yeah. you do you do let them know that it's okay to be vulnerable and you bring compassion. And you know, the the single moms who don't know what to do with their kid and everything, and you talk to their kids. So it's like you're that uncle that they go see every one to two weeks. Yeah. And and so you are gifting such positive energies, and they haven't maybe they don't know it yet, the kid, but as they grow old, like like my nephew. He doesn't want to go anywhere else. Yeah. I don't, and I'm like, what the other, when I was in Connecticut, I'm like, what the hell? Go down the street. We don't got time to be going all the way over there. He's like, no, only he knows how to do it. So, yeah. so that's, that's something that, that your energy, that your spirit, it touches other people in ways that they can't explain other than he's the only one that can cut my hair. But you know, it's bigger than that. Yeah, because yeah, like with Gio, at the same time, he knows that I'll smack him in the back of his head if he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing at home and at school, too. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love that's it. how I am with everybody. I'm just You're real. That's all You're that's real. That. And we need it. We need more of you. We need more of us. I, I'm not just putting you on the spot like that. It's like we are, that's what we strive for on the show, too, is that it's like, I think most people are starting to shift. They're really done with inauthentic people and inauthentic, you know, um, just life in general. And, and they're still on the cuff though. They still want to watch like the Kardashians or something like that. But at the same time, they're like, but it's on, doesn't feel right to me, you know? And mm -hmm. the more people like us that get up there and just be, or be our authentic selves and give them permission to do that as well, that's going to be the big, big piece here. And I have to, so I got to interrupt because we got a little something special here. Um, so Jonathan, you know, it's Margie's birthday tomorrow, right? Yep. Okay. So um, a few people have been wanting to like, you know, really wish Margie a happy birthday. So we are going to uh, let everybody in. <laughs> <laughs> To 
wish Margie a happy, happy birthday. Oh my God, so this is feel, awesome. So feel free, everybody, to wish your app as your as your uh, as your audio is coming on. We're gonna make sure that we can sing <laughs> a little happy birthday to Hi. Margie. Oh my God! Look at Mich no. Michelle's with her dog Jeffrey. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so just make sure you lower if you have the the show in the background and Facebook. Just lower your volume. So feel free, everybody. So let's see. Yes. Can you see everybody? Hi, mommy. Mommy's coming right now. Okay. Here. Oh, yeah. can you see us? Hey, Tiffany. Erica. Hi. Hi. Look at, oh, my God. <laughs> Look at Erica. I'm really Erica. a hot mess. Yeah. Oh, right here for you. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Look at Jen. Oh, my God. This is so exciting. <laughs> Wait, we got a couple more. Let me see. Yeah. Look at Carmen. I love it. <laughs> But people just keep adding on. So we just let's let's add on a few more people. And let's see, we got a message. Admit, yeah, we people keep coming on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this is absolutely fantastic. This oh, look at my brother. My brother. <laughs> Happy baby. birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> look at Happy um, you just got to sing it to me. This happy birthday. Right, yes. the oh, so we, we, so we will. Wait, wait, wait. Two, wait we're, go ahead, coordinate it, Lori. Okay, ready? We'll, on the count, good countdown. Three. Hold on, Lori. Oh. Hold on, Lori. Yes. Oh, we're waiting. We're waiting. Okay. Yeah, we're please. Give one second. 17 people <laughs> in here. Let me make sure everybody else is getting on here. Oh my God! Look at my brother! Look at Beatty, I Hi, almost, Beatty Dolly! Oh I my almost God! Hi. Do this. Oh, <laughs> Hi, this is Hi, Hi. Okay, we Hi, got Beatty. two more people coming on. Okay, so are we ready? So we want to sing? Okay, so here we go. Yes. Just can you give one second? We yes. should the door should open in one second, Lori. Okay, oh, that's fine. Birthday. Ready now? Wait, stop. <laughs> wait, wait. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, dear Marty. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go in order. So, Jonathan, Erica, Bolahala, Cheyenne, Michelle, Janine, Tiffany, Brian, Carmen, Francia, Irita, Titidali, Mickey, my brother, my daughter, Tiffany, Natalie, Fernandez. Who's this? I can't, I can't see. Gwen? No. Yeah, Tiffany, Gwen. who's that? Yeah, Gwen's on. I don't know. Oh, Dad, Ramos. I don't see Henny or Gwen, but thank you so much. This really made my day. I'm right here. Happy birthday. I don't see you, Henny, but look at my brother who's so He's shy on and He's on. This is awesome. Let me tell you. Let, let me tell you why this is special. Tomorrow's actually my birthday, but it's also my 10th year wedding anniversary to Eric. So that... Yeah, so um, it'll be four years. Uh, it'll be a, a four anniversaries that he's not here with me, but I still celebrate it. So this is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. This is just awesome. Like, I don't want to cry on camera because I, I don't cry. But when I do, it's that ugly cry. <laughs> And you know I'm vain and shallow. Is there any other way? <laughs> They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. This so thank awesome. you, everybody. Thank you, thank you everybody, thank you. for coming on. Oh, it was absolutely on. fantastic. Yes, he is. And Gwen's on. Gwen's on if you don't see them. But yeah, you have 17 people. Well, that's including us. So 14 extra people on. 
just to wish you a happy birthday. Thanks not to mention that. all the other comments. All the other I comments. Know. Love you. So, thank you but so I much, everybody, for coming you. on. Thank you happy thank birthday. You for taking the time. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank happy you. Happy birthday. Love love you. Happy birthday. And so, happy birthday. Bye. so this has been a great episode. And thank you, everybody, for coming on. And thank you, Jonathan, for coming on. And we will be back on Tuesday. And I'm going to ask those that are still on, I got to add one more favor for those of you that stayed on. So I'm going to say my thing. And Jonathan, you got, you got anything real quick you want to just say before you go? Bye, Jonathan. Um, well, I go with my slogan for work. Is, uh, Good. What's your slogan, Jonathan? Oh, I said, uh, I'm going to go with my slogan for work for the barbershop name is uh, Feel How You Look. So, you know, obviously, if you look good, you feel good. You know, if you, if you feel sick, you're going to look sick. Same thing. But if you take that positivity, you know, you stay humble and be yourself. That's the biggest thing. Be you. Okay. Fabulous. All right. Thank you, Jonathan, for coming on. And I'm going to end with mine, but I'm going to ask you one favor. So I end, Jonathan, I'm pretty similar to you. Be you, be real, and be extraordinary. And I want everybody to do Gladiator Guru's ending. Okay? Let's do this. Go ahead. You ready? Everybody, breathe in the beauty. Breathe in the beauty. And breathe out the bullshit. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> oh my 